G'day, my name's Tamara and I'm here today to try and help you save several hours like the hours that I've wasted trying to get my higher washing machine connected to the Wi-Fi app. Why would you even bother? Why does a washing machine need a Wi-Fi app? Oh, because the higher washing machine, I got the HWF model, HWF 90AN1 model and it has in its wisdom put the delay wash as a function only available through the app so because electricity costs so much here now um, i'm very keen to use the delay wash settings so that i can save some money on my electricity uh, another technical detail just before we get started is that i'm trying to connect the app through a simple motorola android phone um, but I believe the same issues are happening um, with any type of phone. So the first one is that the password on the washing machine is supposed to be on a washing machine product label inside the door. However, it is missing. And there is no way of guessing it because the password is something like, I think it was eight letters long all capital letters no numbers no vowels i've been reassured by the dull men's club that in fact that's over three million possible combinations so the first stop if you're missing the password is to ring up tech support help the helpline and get some text to come out what they'll do when they come out is they will scratch their heads and go yep the password is missing and they unscrew the top of the machine um, and they take a look inside at the little Wi-Fi module and on the little Wi-Fi module is the password which they photographed because it's that awkward to see the only way you could get to it is with your mobile camera so that's what they did so we got the password so we thought oh great Bob's your uncle we're ready to go long story short the app which was downloaded for the higher washing machines is not the um, app or the website that they recommend in the manual. The manual is as useless as tits on a bull, um, even if it is the right way up. And so you need to go to the higher website and they will direct you to the Smart HQ app. The Smart HQ app is a generic app that lots of different appliance brands use. So you're connecting um, to that. Only problem with that SmartQ app is that it does not want to naturally or automatically update itself until such time as you've got an appliance hooked up to it. So the only way to make sure that you've got the most uh, up-to-date version, the one with the least amount of bugs in it, is to uninstall the app and reinstall it. So for those of you with an Android, that's a case of going into the settings, going to the apps, checking the app off there, uninstalling it, going back to Google Play Store if it doesn't automatically take you there, reinstall the app. In that way, you've got today's hopefully bug-free version of the app. I say hopefully because it's full of bugs. Anyway, so you've got the up-to-date app. Then the next thing you need to do is attempt to connect it to the Wi-Fi. The first thing you need to do before you even start that is get your home Wi-Fi network and I'll just show you this one. Take off the auto connect setting. You can see the auto connect setting at the very bottom and you just need to switch that off. There's a reason for doing that. It's because it has to at one stage during the setup process, it has to just connect to the uh, little Wi-Fi circuit that the washing machine tries to set up with your phone. And that Wi-Fi circuit has no internet. And if you've got this on auto connect, your phone will keep bumping off it and onto something that gives you internet. So turn off your auto connect on your network. That's number one. Then um, you can go ahead and start following the instructions, including entering the password. And you should be right uh, to be connected to uh, your washing machine to the home network. If that's still a problem, what you can do is you can also um, go through the connection process via an alternative to your home network. So for example, you could set up a hotspot on your mobile phone. Um, obviously you'll need two mobile phones because you've got one that's got the, oh, you could probably do it with just the one. We did so much troubleshooting, I'm a little bit confused now, but 
Anyway, you could try the uh, what the tethering, uh, hotspotting, sorry, to your mobile phone. Um, and then hopefully you're connected and then you go back to your home network on your mobile phone and you should be able to pick up your machine there. And then the beauty of all of that is that you finally get the delay wash setting. You also get a bunch of statistics um, about how many times you've used your washing machine and I suspect about two or three days outside of your warranty, uh, the purpose of the app is to remotely control your machine and make it blow up. Who knows? We'll see. Okay, best of luck. I hope you don't have anywhere near as much trouble as I did. Thank you.